Hi, this is Janet. Thank you so much for coming. I can't wait to see you wherever you are. Okay, sorry. I didn't do the video yesterday, but I'm here always representing you. Have you seen the topic today? I think it's interesting. The topic is interesting. I hope you can hear me. The topic today is, okay, how are you going to improve your life? Okay, Janet is here today. And freezing the mind, that is the title, and breaking free from the chains that have given us poverty for a long time. And yes, me included. So me, I, I decided, you know what? Some of these things I t teach people too much. Coming to America, coming to Canada. Like I want us to succeed. Okay, I want us to succeed. But what is the basic? What is the bottom line? And I said, you know what, Janet? Sometimes you don't even share enough. Janet needs to share enough information with her followers with people that like her, that follow her. I love you so much for showing up. And thank you for the comments. The comments are not only for Janet. The comments are here for everyone. Okay? Janet is here to entertain. Use your buttons and pass information to you. Okay? I leave you better than you found me. Hello. I see all of you. Okay? Thank you so much. We are going to succeed. Bottom line, we are going to succeed. And you say how? Okay? And freezing the mind. Janet had to, uh, to unfreeze the mind. For me, unfreezing the mind meant I started dreaming. I just decided, you know what, I want to go to America. It doesn't have to be you. That's not how you're going to unfreeze your mind. But of course, most of my followers, that's how we are going to unfreeze our mind and break free from the chains of poverty. And I'm not saying people are poverty. Some of you are too rich. Me, I wasn't that rich. But now I'm doing so well. So you, you, you place yourself where you want to, to place yourself. Okay, you just place yourself where you want to place yourself. But the goal of coming on this page is to see ourselves through. And Janet is going to walk you through. I'm going to walk you through from poverty to success, basically. And by the way, it's true. Tested, true and tested information. Janet is just going to walk you through. And I can give you an example. Okay, I was a nurse back home. And agents came. And they asked us to, you know, uh, process documents. Those documents were coming to the United States, okay? And I remember they were costing some money, $200 to be precise about. And some people ran away because, you know what? That's too expensive. Oh, I've had agents that will do everything for free. Okay, good. Okay, sometimes cheap is expensive. Cheap is expensive. As we talk today, many of them, many of them never stepped in America. Me, I went back to the village and told my mom, hey, give me money. I'm going to go to the nursing council and process these papers. My mom gave me money, $200. I went back to Nairobi, processed my papers. Okay? That was unfreezing the mind and throwing away risk. Some of you think it's a big deal. These little, little decisions you make every day, these decisions you make every day will affect your future. At 21, at 31, at 41, at 51, these things accumulate. Janet is just being honest with you. Looking back, I didn't know I was manifesting success in my life. But recently I've gone through some of the things that have put me here. It was those little decisions every day. When people are fearful me, I will take a step forward. When people fear me, I will take a step forward. And by the way, it doesn't have to be coming to America. It doesn't have to be going to Canada. Janet is here. She has learned how people in America do things. And she's here to share with us. Here in America, in Canada, anywhere in the world, and specifically my people back home, okay? We're going to manifest success. We are tired of waiting. Basically, you are going to take control, and Janet is right here with you. I can't wait to see you succeed. Yes, happy 4th of July. Have you ever asked, and I'm going to go to the nuts and bones of this video, have you ever asked yourself, okay? At least me, I came from a village, okay? I don't know, some of you came from a big city, you just eat chicken and you don't know how chicken happens. Have you ever asked yourself, why in the village there are some people who are selling chicken and they are selling the chicken to people that already have farms sometimes even the people that have a big farm they are buying chicken do you know the excuse of not having chicken some are like huh i'm not gonna have chicken because those scavengers from the sky will come and eat the chicklings and the other person will say no as soon as they, they, they chicken lay eggs and i have chicklings i'm gonna find a shed for the chicklings okay do you think there's an excuse do you think there's an excuse for hunger? Let's be honest. Let's be honest. I'm freezing the mind. I'm freezing the mind. 
let's be honest if you have a farm do i'm freezing the mind my friends if you have a farm why, why, why don't you have a thousand chicken leave alone for business for your family to eat huh and america had to teach me these things and me janet doesn't hide anything me i'll tell you all the secrets me i'll tell you how they look at things and that is one of the things they can never understand this is just between us okay you can spread to janet rangi followers and our people okay but this is how they wonder they've asked me personally they've asked me do people have farms why don't they have a thousand chicken in the farm they've asked me because it doesn't take ch the chicken just eats the grass the chicken just eats uh, the insects it's free of charge free food from god okay so let's ask the, let's ask our questions okay janet is just giving you the other perspectives it doesn't have to be politics we can make ourselves rich we can make ourselves rich we are not we are not going to janet is here janet is here i'm giving you secrets my friends obvious obvious you can start today you can start today okay you don't have to even have money you need to start with one chicken that will lay 12 eggs and do not have the the excuse that the scavengers will come to the sky because that is the difference between you and the the, the, the the failure and success the success story is the person selling chicken the failure is the one buying the chicken true or false okay true me i'm just telling you the truth and that applies in everything we do okay that is how janet succeeded my friends okay i looked at my life the past seven years and i remembered i made a decision some of you don't know these shops i'm not going to go to ross i used to go to ross anytime i, I want we call it shopping therapy in america we have shopping therapy where you feel depressed or you feel down you go start shopping nonsense not complete nonsense next time i'll do a video and take you through my kitchen and the wardrobe unnecessary stuff stupid stuff and for the last seven years i said you know what I'm going to wear this t-shirt. This is like cheap t-shirts. And I'm not going to shop expensive things. And I say, I'm going to focus on paying my student loan. And I'm going to look for someone to pay me for me that student loan. That propelled me to a higher level compared to someone who is still buying unnecessary things in the house and not committing to paying the student loan and waiting to pay the loan himself is or herself instead of looking for someone else to pay the student loans. Okay, I've just talked to you my, my secret success. I've just told you my secret to success right there. I am not paying my own student loans. Okay? I am not. And Janet comes in and says, why are you going to school and paying school fees when you can find a job as a nurse and ask the employer to take you for a master's program? Okay? Or you are CNA. Why can't the employer pay for your nursing program? And I'm not saying it will be happening to everyone, but I'm just teaching you how to think. I'm just teaching you how to think and freezing decisions let me give you another example four months ago no is it four recently i had uh, this guy his name is jackton okay smart a school smart school data of analytics he gave me i don't know the uh, smart data analytic okay that is the website i came here i brought him right now the class has students from kampala students from dubai students from um uh, from Nairobi, someone from Kitale, someone from South Africa, okay? That is the difference. They made a decision. And by the way, if you want to make a decision, make that decision today. I'll leave the link here to go. That website, the class is coming up full, you know. They only take 30 people, okay? They only take 30 people per cohort. Class starts August 15th, but the link will be up here if you want to join. Me, I told Jackton, I don't care People register for class, they don't. Me, I'll come do a video. And the video, Jackton, I'm coming to do in Dallas. This is the video I want to do in Dallas with you, Jackton. Outcomes. Outcomes. Okay? These people that join the class, show me someone that actually has gotten a job. And let's talk. And you see that such a person was on the other end, just like you, listening all of you went to the website this person made a decision and now they have a six figure salary now you had an excuse oh i'm going to school i'm working so hard oh i, I have uh, kids these people said no but i can go to class on weekends okay i'm gonna do this you decide to go for safari rally instead of investing the money in education okay and you know they they, they work from home so all those benefits is because of one decision 
one decision and some people many of you watched that video and i can't wait to come and say okay this is usually the difference between failure and success this is just this uh, true examples okay true example smart school school of smart data okay analytic and by that i leave the link here okay smartdataanalytic.com and you can go and check it out okay but that's besides the point what happened to janet what happened to janet after those seven years the student loan was paid off completely that freed my money okay i made decisions so that you know when you start working by the end of the day you're just left with little bills because you made a decision in five years I'm not going to buy unnecessary things. I'm going to make sure I save here. I'm going to take care of debt. Okay? And that made me to propel to the next level. And let me give you a quick example before, you know, we continue. Okay? How many of you have watched Janet? Okay? And you watched Janet somewhere in uh, November 2020. You know, COVID was there and we were not leaving homes. And everyone was scared. It was around the presidential elections. Do you remember? Janet made a decision. And I shared with you a decision. Okay? I said, okay, I have some money here. Let me go buy a truck. You know Janet is in business. Okay, I hope you know that. I'm not going to talk more about that. That's not why I'm here. But I walk you through the success and freezing the mind and focusing on success. Okay? That truck, because I bought during the pandemic when everyone was in the home, no one was coming out. Even if I don't do business, the truck has doubled, almost tripled in value. The same truck, okay, I'm just telling you. The same truck I bought in your face, you, you, you watching. In November, I remember, people are busy watching the television, watching who won the American elections. Janet left that and she drove herself 10 hours away to buy a truck for business. The same truck today is worth two, three times. Why? Because now the economy has opened and everyone is out there. And the competition for buying the trucks has gone up. Now, can you imagine that money just without even me doing any business? I can sell and get that money in my pocket. And the business is going very well, by the way. Okay? Okay, that I can tell you. But let me tell you, what was the difference? And freezing the mind. I can sit there and say, but I'll keep this money. Money makes money. Money makes, I, will just, I, 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 I can't, money makes money. You can choose to stay there with your $3,000. 10 years from now, it will be 3050 depending on which bank that is giving you cents. Or you can choose to invest in yourself. So what is Janet saying? Okay? And freezing the mind means taking control of saying, Janet, I'm following you. Okay? And you've talked about student visa. I want that student visa. And Janet, I'm going to learn as much as possible. From what you said, I think student visa will be the best for me. Janet, you talked about student visa, you talked about visiting visa, you talked about J1 visas, you talked about express entry, you know, Northern um, Atlantic programs in Canada, provincial nominee programs, you know, all these opportunities, Janet, you're giving on the internet. Me, I'm looking and this is what will fit me. But this is just the problem, okay? You all know that Janet does her best to teach you how to cross the embassy. And that is the thing that I don't like about what I do because someone else is in control of your life. Because you can work so hard and you end up at the embassy and they refuse to give you a visa. And then your dreams come tumbling down. That one I don't like. That's why going forward, I'll keep on investing, which by then not going forward. I've always done this. I invest in visas that I know you have a higher chance of getting. Okay? So unfreezing the mind means being weak, taking control of your life. Like Janet took control of her life. And I said, me and poverty never again. I slept hungry and I said, me with poverty never again. I will never miss food. I will never, my kids will never miss food. I, not that I missed food. By then I grew up in a place where we were well off. In as much as say, I say, I grew up in the village, our neighbors wish to be me. You understand? I don't know if you understand that situation. Okay. I know many of you can relate to what I'm saying. Okay, you think you're doing bad, but the next neighbor feels like, why? Why is Janet complaining? Because, by the way, let me tell you the truth. Me, I grew up in a village, okay? But I went to boarding schools. So some of the people felt like we were doing well. We were very rich. So Janet, why are you saying you grew up in poverty? And Janet, you went to boarding school since class one. By the way, do you know? Janet went to Catholic schools from class one to form four. 
So I never went to those day schools. I always wore shoes. So my poverty is different from someone else who did not wear shoes. They did not have school fees. Okay. I just happened to grow up in a village, but I went to boarding schools. So I have an experience of both lives. Okay. So that is what happened to me. But boarding was tough. Okay. Getting food was tough. Or sometimes you go, they have cabbages. You go there, they have green, whatever. Me, I just could not take that food. Thank God for the milk. Mazua yanyayo, I love that. Okay? So that poverty taught me something. And I said, me, <laughs> never again. I'm not going to be that situation again. So I said, I'm going to take control of my life. I'm going to invest myself. And my choice was to come to America. And when I came to America, when I see an opportunity, okay, I jump. It's risky. It's risky. But it always comes down like i've learned the art so well that it's never it's never a risk you know you move from a point where you know that if i do this the outcome is this okay i've reached that point where i know exactly if i do this the outcome is this so follow me follow me through my journey okay so i come to america so the first thing you have to make a decision which visa you are coming with of course, you watch Janet Rangi. She gives you all these ideas. Not every visa will be yours. If you hear Janet pouring secrets that go in that corner, please go see what they are telling you. You might find one thing or two that you didn't know. Did you know that? Follow people that are successful. Okay? They know something you don't. Oh, you don't, 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 don't look at Janet like this. I love your buttons. Don't look at Janet. I know something you don't. This did not happen by accident. Okay? 3,600 square feet paid. It's not an accident. Especially for us women. Oh, she's a gold digger anyway. She followed a rich man. Okay, okay. It's because she has a master's. It's because she has a PhD. The PhD happened by accident. Marrying the right person happened by accident, my friends. No, it was a choice. It was a decision. Even the men know. They choose their wives wisely. I'm just saying. Nothing, not, nothing is an accident. Okay, nothing in my life is an accident. That's what I'm, let me just be honest. Let me just be honest. Okay, my two Mercedes Benz in that garage. I don't think they're, 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 they're an accident. It's decisions. Me living in this big house, okay, that is paid for. Those was in America, just to be, let's just be clear. Okay, anytime you follow Janet. And you're here in America and say, by the another one say, hey, but Mercedes Benz in America is cheap. Why is she? No, it's not cheap. You go buy a Mercedes today. Stop with that stupid comment, my friend. This is a successful woman talking. Wait. <laughs> they are cheap. You go buy a Mercedes Benz. Okay? You show me a house that is paid off. Let's start there. Show me. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Show me a Mercedes Benz that is paid off. Okay, you start. Start. You you are so smart. Uh -huh. Now you want to, 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 to bring things that are unrealistic. And Janet has decided to be a role model for her people and say, hey, look at me. Do you know something in sociology? They, they say ascribed or ascribed. You know, there's these people. Do you know, like in America now, they say approximately 12% of the millionaires inherited. 88% are self-made. Okay. And so Janet decided to become a self-made person. Do you understand? Okay, so I start small with education. I serve and then I propel to the next level. Okay, now I finished. I started with five, five figures. I moved to six. In less than two years, I'm going to seven figures. Count. Facts. Facts. Okay, facts. I am. And no one is stopping me. <laughs> okay? And I, I'm going to bring you along the journey. Okay? Uh, I mean, uh, no, debt, no credit card debt. How about that? It didn't happen by accident. Okay? Follow the right people. Follow success. Follow success. And Janet doesn't hide her success. Taking control of myself. I understand. You know what? This debt here, <laughs> I better fix it. Uh, you know, I've been borrowing a little bit too much. I better fix this debt. I just stop shopping. And I just focus on bills, 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 and bills. And some of you say, did you see her wigs? Did you see her? Oh, okay. How about her wigs and she's richer than you? Okay. Look at my nails. I don't do them. A waste of money. I don't. And I'm not Mr. Man because of nails. 
okay and by the way it look nice okay i admire some of you that do nails Okay, I admire. Don't don't get me wrong. I don't do my toenails, but it's good when you are going out to see people. You look nice. Okay, you look nice. I put basic makeup. I don't do eyelids. Okay, I really do a calculation of who, why, why would I waste my money here? Why would I waste my money here? Walmart T-shirt. But I'm richer than you. Who is wearing? And by the way, <laughs> so one day I went to to a mall unleashing and freezing the mindset of poverty yes you can be buying the most expensive things and you're poor you're poor let's say the truth no not, it's not gonna happen to Janet Janaki followers so I go to the mall those days I used to have friends and I was in this period of seven years where I stopped shopping unnecessarily and then we go to the mall there's a there's a store called black house white markets and I'm telling you, the clothes there, she took a dress that was $300. I was just saying, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Janet, take this, it looks nice. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Me with my $5 t-shirt, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, God. Take me out of here, take me out of here. I'm like, ah, yes, just looking, ah, just looking. And then her earrings cost like 150 Both of us were, were registered nurses, okay? So we were the same earning potential. And I'm like, where is she finding the money to buy? Why would I buy a dress that is $300? I am not going to be that foolish. I am not. Please, God, help me. Help me, God. Hold. No, no, shh, shh. <sighs> breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Why are you buying a dress that is $300? Why are you buying a dress that is $300, my friends? I am not. I am not. I am not. Even me now, my house is paid off. My cars are paid off. I'm doing so well. I'm not going to buy a house. Four, 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 four dollars. God help, 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 help. Please, please. Okay? Now, one day when you are a millionaire, you just go and buy that because money is no longer a problem. Okay? The earrings looked pretty. And her nails are pretty. But she's a very beautiful woman. And I love her so much. And we came out and I was just nervous. That's why sometimes your friends will influence you. You have to be, you have to be strong. Because if you go to the next store and she sees you are not buying anything, you are not gonna, you are not blending. Your friendship is going to be a little bit rough. Okay? So me, I leave the, the, the place. I managed to, to, to take something for the hair that cost me about $18, which I would have found somewhere else for $2. But I, I managed to grab that. So I looked like even me, I came out of the, the store with something in my bag. <laughs> okay. She has a... By the time we leave the store, she has a $500 down. And guess how much Janet stayed? $18. So between $18 and $500, there's a discrepancy. Do you think me and that person we're gonna be friends? Now you know why Janet doesn't have friends. Are you understanding now? Not that she doesn't like people, but you, see, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot think the same. Okay, so you end up losing friends naturally. Do you understand? Like this decision to move to the next level, my friends, you have to think like the next level people. Am I giving you secrets? Am I giving you secrets? Okay, it, it it's not magic. It's little little decisions. And for those five years, my loans were paid off, okay? My car was paid off. My house is paid off. Everything is in order. Now I have free money, okay? Now I can just start a project. The more money you have, the more money comes in. I'm learning that. Again, now, if you don't have money, you cannot compete. Because you're thinking of buying the next thing. Buying, paying, paying, paying for what? You cannot compete, okay? So you have to have your life in control. And then you invest in yourself. Quick story. Let me tell you another story. Me, I like stories because they are real. Okay? I like stories because they are real. So, me, I come to America. Okay? I'm working on a floor as a registered nurse. 27 years old. Then this traveling nurse comes. Hey, Janet, how old are you? I said, 27. She said, oh my God, you're so lucky. I said, why? Like, Have you ever considered doing medicine? I said, ah, oh, no, where I come from, people, and my mind is there. You know, for some of you are from other countries, I don't know, but at home, people are very successful. You went to Starry Boy Center, you went to Alliance Gas, you went to Moe Gas, wherever, wherever. You know, those are the people that are doing medicine and freezing the mindset. I did not go to do research to see what this woman was telling me. Okay? Me, I'm like, uh, uh, I'm married to a successful man. He already a doctor. I'll just make sure I take care of my husband. My husband will be successful. We will be successful. I'm doing well as an RN. Okay? Most of you are in this situation. Don't, don't, don't say Janet is... Don't, don't start pretending. 
Don't stop pretending. Don't stop pretending that, that Janet is saying things that you don't know. Janet is just saying things that you're doing right now. Okay? And then, so I am like, okay, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, and we're going to do that. Okay? Okay, dokie. Ten years down the road. Okay? Now I've turned 38, 37. Guess what I was reading for? Okay? M cut. I wanted to go to medical school. It took me 10 years to learn that anyone can be a medical doctor in America. Why do I want to be a medical doctor? Of course, I enjoy seeing patients, which I was already as a registered nurse. Do you understand? Then I finished the MCAT. You know, I did so much preparing for school of medicine. I did the exam to go to medical school, school of medicine. Janet is, Janet is saying this nursing, I'm not going to sit here. These people are blowing good money, six figures, and me, I'm just five figures. I'm not going to do this crap. Janet, take yourself to the school of medicine. I read. I read. I read physics. That's why Janet is smarter than an average. I mean, the next time you see a nurse practitioner, think of Janet. I have more. And I'm not showing off, okay? I just have that more. And by this, sometimes I feel like I know more than the doctor. Sorry if you're a doctor. I'm just sorry. I mean, I'm a midwife. I've done psychiatry. I've done surgery. Many of you have trained in America. You didn't even know what I know. And this is no offense to any doctor watching. I'm smarter than you in some areas, okay? All right. So I did all this and... I read, 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 read. Okay, now it came time to apply for medical school. They said, okay, write, uh, write uh, why you want to join medicine. To help patients. But you're already helping patients as a nurse practitioner. Uh, okay, it came down to money. Because I was already doing 99.999 what the doctor is doing. Okay? And then I said, you know what, Janet? How about you invest in yourself in another way where you'll earn 10 times better than a medical doctor? Voila. I got my answer right there. I said, okay, since I was 27, someone came and told me something I didn't know. I did not invest in myself. I waited to invest in other people instead of investing in myself. It clicked. There's a switch that clicked. And say, Janet, you're already working as a doctor? But if you want their money, work and 10 times better than a medical doctor. And I'm on my way. That's what I'm going to do. I made a decision. You cannot beat an entrepreneur. Okay. You can never beat a business person because they earning potential unlimited. Okay. Right there. I'm still working on that. That is my goal. Okay. And it will happen in less than two years. Okay. Okay, by the way, you have to have goals. Okay, you have to have goals in life. Who said if you fail is wrong? Personally, any goal I've had, I've achieved. It's because I challenge myself. Okay, I challenge myself and I say, hey, my goal is this. Let people laugh along the way. When I say these videos, there are so many people who are laughing. They think you're just there to make noise. No, I ignored. <laughs> I ignored and continue to do videos. Okay, you have something, a passion in you. Okay, and so Janet has looked at us and said, we need to unfreeze our minds. Go, go back to the story of chickens. You don't even have to come to America. You don't even have to go to Canada. Okay, the story I just said at the beginning of the, 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 the video, why do some people have chickens and don't, some don't, and chicken is eating free food? Why will you be in poverty? Looking back, even as a young girl, why was I thinking of we don't have chicken and eat chicken on Christmas? That's messed up. Chicken should be there every day, anytime you want to eat chicken because it's free. You understand? So it's unfreezing the mind. Our page here, uh -huh, uh, smartdataanalytic.com, I will leave the link here. The next class is coming and I'll go to Dallas and I'll share stories of people that have six figures from all over the globe. They just made a decision. Instead of going on vacation or, 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 or you know, eating at McDonald's every day, you invest in yourself. You say, hey, I'm earning $30,000 per year. How can I earn $120,000 uh, per year? I just stop eating the uh, McDonald's. I stop going to Ross unnecessarily. I make a payment plan. I invest in a course that is hot on the market. Okay, nothing is promised because many of you are going to university and you don't even know where the jobs will come from. So I'm not promising anything, but all I can tell you is I can see a potential. Me, I saw a potential in RN. And I used that to get a green card. It was not a rumor. It was true. I used the opportunity that exists I use an opportunity that is right in my face. 
Okay? And we wait for manna from heaven. Manna from heaven. I'm gonna go. <laughs> MCA is coming. <laughs> MC, 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 MCA. Oh, politics. Ooh, politics, politics. Hey, politics is gonna give me money. <laughs> Since when? Since when? That's why you not see Janet in politics. But politics is very necessary. We need people. I go watching those. I love politics by the way watching. Okay? I don't have opinions. But I love it. I love because it's a very interesting game. I like when people are like, well, I'm fighting, I'm fighting. Okay? Do you know politics is fighting? And then I enjoy to see the other side of, <laughs> of people who are getting so angry at politics. Why are you getting angry? Politics is a good game. Okay? Each side is speaking for the other person. The only time you're feeling mad is because you are forcing the other person to think like you. And they will never think like you. Did you know that? They will never. You can do everything you want, you will never. So you stick on your side and be happy with your side. Then now, and understand why they are coming from there. Okay, understand the other side. Okay, you'll just be okay. All right? So I love watching politics. But for the most part, Janet Ranke followers, we are taking control of our own lives and making decisions. If it means raising chicken, we are going to raise that chicken. Free of charge. Okay? And Janet has said, we are going to the embassy. We are coming to Canada. We are coming to America just the way Janet did. And the good news is Janet is teaching you how. Janet is teaching you how, okay? The good news, Janet, Janet I just don't leave people there, okay? Janet, how did you do it? Janet says the truth. And as you followed me for many years, I don't say things I've not done. I tell you what I have done. And the next time you see Janet in seven figures, surely, don't say that, Janet has gone to uh, a vigilante. I don't know what would exist. Remind me this common name. There's this common name even at home. We used to have them. They are kind of devil worshippers. Okay, so they get rich very quick. There's a name we, we we give them here in America that people are calling. What happened to Janet? I think she joined that club. Eh? That is why she's doing so well. No, she works hard. <laughs> what and patience. Okay, there's no get rich quick schemes. No. The first thing for us, of course, is education. Get a job, save. Use your day, uh, job to, to, to improve. Like me, I was an RN, basic. I did a bachelor's degree. I'm like, hey, these people are going for a master's degree. I better show up. I go. And then when I get to master's, I'm like, who's going to pay for my fees? Who's going to pay for my fees? Who's going to look for my fees? I'm not going to pay for school fees. Okay? People need me to do this RN thing. People need me to do this uh, nurse practitioner job. Who is going to pay for this money? I do the research. I do the right thing. They pay. Hey, postgraduate psychiatry is on high demand. Janet, 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 go to school, Janet. You are not going to go to clubs, Janet, please. You are not going to have friends, Janet. You are going to focus on books, Janet, Janet, Janet. Psychiatry, boom. My salary, three times higher than the RN, four times higher than the RN, okay? And then I pay bills, I pay bills, I pay bills. Now I have money in my pocket. Then I start business. You see? It's clear. It's very clear. Okay? So don't say, oh, Janet has joined the worshipping group. No. Oh, Janet is stealing money. No. Patience decisions i don't fear do i lose yes i do lose for the most part i win because i've understood the game okay i come to this country i learn i've just been watching news and i i can't stress enough okay structural there are things that you can never deny you can choose to do what janet is saying or be stuck where you are okay i've learned it when COVID came, it hit this country so hard. And there's one thing I kept on saying. Never forget the structure. When something has a good foundation, you can say, oh, look at them. Now they're struggling. Look at us. We are doing well. They've come out stronger. The economy is the strongest in the world now. There's money. And Janet wants you to come and test that too. Okay? It's a strong country. Because they have the structures in place. You cannot argue the structure is there even when the opportunity is presented to some nations that did very well if you do not have a good foundation my friend you can only dream you can only dream but janet is said you know what let's let, let's do things this way i might be changing 500 people per year who cares in 20 years that will be how many Twenty thousand. that's a lot that's a lot that's a lot do you understand so you, you, you really have to look at the long term. You cannot look at today. You cannot look at today. The rest of the things you're just dreaming. Can I just tell you it's a secret, but it's the truth. Okay? 
There are some things, even the Bible says, if you do not have a good foundation, you're just dreaming. You're just dreaming. And I know you wish that things will be different, but you're just dreaming. Janet is here to break the sad news that you're just basically dreaming. Okay? Just, just follow what people have done. Suc just, so, in, so in church is successful? Find out how. Why are they successful? And by, that's it. Is, that's it. America is successful. Just find out why. I mean, there is no secret. Just find out why. Why? You will find out. What you can't do is wishing. Okay? First of all, evaluate. Where are you in your life? Okay? What can you do to improve yourself? Okay? What can you do to improve? And then face it. Face it. Okay? If it's an issue of education, take yourself to school. Okay? Even if you are 40, even if you're 50, even if you're 60, even if you're 70, if that is your issue, take yourself to school. Okay? If the problem is credit, you have bad credit, educate yourself. Go on YouTube. Start. Start today. Start today. Five years from now, you'll be so happy. By the five years goes very, very quick. That program I was telling you, smartdataanalytic.com, 14 weeks. They're almost done. And I'll give you reviews. And I'll leave the link up here. Weekends, they're in class. Okay? They invested in themselves. They did not pay. They invested in themselves. And the job is coming six figures. Those are just, that's just the truth. Instructors sounding like you. Everything telling you the truth. And by the way, doing interviews for you. At the end, doing a resume for you and showing the work experience that you need for the employer. That's usually the hard time. They, they, they're going to give references. I've seen them and I say, I'm going to come and share with my people. And I'll come to that class. I hope Jackson has told you, Janet will come to Dallas in the class. I have to see like real testimonials to see that people get jobs. Even on things like, uh, write down, Upwork. Have you ever heard of Upwork? Have you ever heard of Fiverr? Okay, Fiverr, F-I-V-V-E-R, Upwork. You can even get those jobs when you're still out there at home. Do you understand? Like, hey, educate yourself. Educate yourself, okay? You don't have to be broke. And you don't have to cross the embassy. Janet, trying to follow us. We are about solutions. Do you understand? If you can just get yourself into the knowledge and know what the world is looking for, and go online, okay? You can work from anywhere around the world. Improve your salary. When you will be driving good cars, people are like, okay, she joined the worshippers. No, she, she did not. She, she just watched and did, uh, took actions. When Janet tells you this thing, we don't even have to cross the embassy. Janet is here saying, like, when we, when we are here, we are doing this. And when we are there, we are doing these things. Okay? Janet is just telling you the truth. And you'll be so happy. You'll be so happy. Have you, how many of you have done sociology? Please tell me the best perfume you use, especially the one you use. Uh, uh, what did I tell you? Um, for her. For her. Okay? By raw chemistry. It's an oil. That is my best. Okay? I'm still looking. Okay? I'm still looking for the perfume. So, if you've done sociology. My people, listen to me. This one now, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Uh, but, but today, it was more of a motivation. Because I realize sometimes I give too much knowledge and you get confused. Did you like my t-shirt? It says, be kind. Okay, how many of you love my t-shirt? And it has a style. It has some swag. In America, it's a swag. Okay? And Janet went for a walk today. That's why she has a good shape. Okay? I don't play. Me, I'm always looking good because I'm up there. Sociology has something called self-fulfilling prophecies. For those of you who've done psychology and sociology, type amen. Say what a self-fulfilling prophecy is. You can fulfill your own prophecies. Did you know that? I have a degree in sociology. Henry. Yes, Henry. Henry. Uh, yes, someone else. Uh, Akumu Odero. Thank you so much. I've done sociology, Janet. Yes. There's something called so, uh, self-fulfilling prophecies. What is a self-fulfilling prophecy? I'll just use examples so that you understand that you, the power is within you. For example, let me start with the United States. Okay, in the United States, African Americans are believed to do very well in sports. Okay, they do very well in uh, basketball, football. Like I'm telling you, if you go on the field and you are not African American, you'll be intimidated. Okay, and the African Americans in their minds, they are like, yes, we are strong. We 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 run the. We are the fittest. We are the best athletes. The kids grow up knowing they're the best. Okay, they grow up. They are the best. So you have to have that self-fulfilling prophecy, okay? They come here in America, they say, 
By the way, they are not the best. Anyone can run from India, from China. They can be the best athletes, but it's in the mind. I can't, I can't. Uh-huh. And they tell them, okay, if you're an Asian person, you get A's in class. They're not the smartest, but the kids grow up. They say, oh, if I'm Asian, 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 I'm going to get an A in physics, chemistry. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Do you understand? If you are Kenyan, you believe no one is beating you in the marathon. End of story, period. Is that true? Not necessarily, although they, biologically, me having done some science, I know the red blood cells carry more oxygen when you're there. But it's in our mind that we are the best, period. End of story. Let's not even talk. If I'm a Kenyan, okay, and you meet me on the field with marathon, we are not even competing. You stay there. It's Kenyans and then everyone else. Self-fulfilling prophecies. Self-fulfilling prophecies. Okay? So that's why it's good for you to be educated. You can fulfill your own prophecy. Don't believe these other people can do better than you. Do you understand? Myself, maybe I've never shared my story. Janet likes being neutral. Okay? I'm a lawyer by tribe. I can tell myself, I'm a lawyer. I can't even do well in business. Those one be, belongs to Kikuyus. Kikuyus. Kikuyu kids will grow up saying, I'm the best in business. Period. End of story. And it's true. The kids will grow up believing that. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Is that true? No. Okay? I'm from Kisumu. Our town is the best. Okay? It's the cleanest. Okay? It's true. And you're going to make Kisumu the cleanest town. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. So you really have to understand sociology and psychology and be very intentional. Be intentional on how you think. Okay? Be intentional on how you think because society can bring you down and freezing the mind. These are not true. We do not have to be in poverty and freezing the mind. Raise chicken. Don't have excuses that scavengers will come and eat my chicks. Just raise the chicken. You will not be hungry. Okay? It's just it's just the truth. Okay? It's self-fulfilling. This one's here. I'm not gonna say who they are. They have a lot of pride. And they fulfill it. If they build a house, they want to make sure it has a good lawn, the lines are straight, well painted, nice and clean. Can anyone else do that? Yes, we can. Self-fulfilling prophecies, okay? Sociology, psychology. You know, Janet, before she goes to school, she had to do psychology. She had to do sociology. So I'm very, very aware. You have to be a, a broad-minded, okay? When you reach our level, you know, education takes you to a level whereby you have to know everything. Another thing is in sociology, Janet, why I do this is because I never want to regret. Regret is the worst thing you can ever do, okay? And again, sociology and psychology is so interesting, okay? Maybe I should have done psychology and sociology. They have something called, okay? They have something called Maslow's hierarchy of needs. I'm saying this because I know the reason why you're stuck is because it's in your head. It's in your head and you want to blame someone else. And you want to blame your husband. And you want to blame your boyfriend. And you want to blame your girlfriend. And you want to blame your wife. No, it's you. I gave you the story. I had a traveling nurse who came and told me when I was 27 to go to the school of medicine and I ignored it. I should have invested in myself. 10 years, I wanted to do it, but it was kind of too late. So I had to come with another strategy. Am I happy with my decision? Absolutely. I was not going to go back at that age, accumulate more loans, and I'm already getting good money and I have other ways to make money. So it turned out well for me. My regret is very, very low. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but my regret will be very low. Okay? So they teach us Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Every human being has, it's usually a triangle. Everyone that has been as, in a school of psychology, sociology, nursing, they usually teach you Maslow's hierarchy of, uh, hierarchy of needs. It's like a triangle like this. At the bottom here, usually it's uh, uh, basic needs. Every human being, unless they have basic needs, they are not happy. Food, water, shelter. Okay? And then the next, uh, keep telling me the next steps. I know many of you, my, my followers, you are very educated. So we are going to make sure we have the basics. So Janet is saying you have to have the basic food, shelter, everything. And you have to be thinking how, how, how. Okay? Then the next step is, I think, a, a love and belong. No, security, I think. You have to feel secure. And then there's love and belongingness. Okay? The topmost. The topmost is called self-actualization. Very hard for anyone to hit that. But me, sometimes I feel like I will hit it. Okay? Self-actualization, you don't even have to be a millionaire. You don't have to be the most, but you have to be happy that in my 50 years of life, in my 80 years of life, what have I done? 
If you took care of the basic needs and you got the love and you got the security, self-actualization means you accomplished everything you wanted in your head, in your dreams, okay? So that's how you, you, you want to actualize your life, okay? Actualize. Be intentional. Janet is teaching you psychology and sociology because I think that is what is missing in our people. And freezing the mind, breaking the chains of poverty is in our high, in our change the mindset. Change the mindset. I'm on the other side. I can see what you don't see. I love you. I love you so much. I love you so much. Janet can see what you don't see. Invest in yourself. And the good news is we dream big. Okay? As immigrants, when we come here, we see an opportunity. We don't sleep. Okay? But you wonder, when we are there, why can't we do the same thing? But when we come here, many of us don't joke. Okay? We don't play. We are here to work. We work 10 hours, we work 60 hours, we work 100 hours. We make money, we go to school, we do masters, we do PhDs, we become engineers, IT professionals, we buy big homes, we buy big cars, okay? All these things we actualize. Why? Let me tell you the secret psychology. We come in an environment that does it. Period, end of story. Okay? We come, it's same people, same people. But when, they, when, we, when we, we, we are, let me tell you, okay, I'm going, I'm going, sorry, sorry for elongating this video, okay? I worked in two hospitals, back in Kenya, in Nairobi, I worked at Kenyatta National Hospital, and I'm telling you, we used to have tons. This group here is going to do wound, okay, you're cleaning wounds, and then this, we used to, I think it was team nursing, they called it. The other group is going to give oral medication, the other ones are going to give injections, the other ones, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. I can't even wait to finish giving those medicines so I can go and stretch on a sofa, eat mandazi, and drink tea. I'm in a hurry to give my... And I'm not even doing rounds to see how the patients are doing. How are you laughing with them? Make sure they are safe and everything, you know? I feel bad because that's not how... I was, the environment I was in, the environment I was in, just do your duty, go for lunch, come, go home. Do the bare minimum. Basically, that's what I'm saying. Eh? Yes, I love you. Uh -huh. Blanche, Kitu. Yeah, break the chains. Break the chains. Eh? The same. And then, same me. I went to Aga Khan. They pushed me harder. <laughs> okay? Private hospital, don't play. You're going to work. I used to work like uh, seven days in a row, and then I get like four in a, and then come. It's Kenyatta, I got more. By the way, after I joined Aga Khan, I wanted to go back to Kenyatta. If you asked me why I wanted to go back to Kenyatta, I did not want to be accountable. Basically, I was being lazy. Let's just be honest. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Aga Khan was making me a better citizen, and I wanted to go back where I, I practice laziness and earn more. And the citizens pay me money to work at Kenyatta to give the bare minimum. Okay? And Aga Khan is teaching me to give the most. That's why he's doing better. Yeah, I'd rather go to Nairobi Hospital. I'd rather go to, to, to Aga Khan. Same people. The same doctor who is working in Aga Khan, you put them in Kenyatta, their, their performance goes down. You put them in Aga Khan, their performance goes high. You put them in Nairobi Hospital, their performance goes high. The environment. Breaking the chains of poverty. I came here, the same nurse. Kenyatta, probably my effort was 20%. I come here, I have no choice but to keep, give 100 or 150%. Same education. You tell me you multiply in the millions and ask me why they are successful. The answer is right there, hard work. If you're in America, say amen, it's true. They work 10 times hard, and by the way, I'm not saying just working hard, working smart too. It's not about just staying in the sun and hitting things. No, 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 no. It's putting in the work, like when you're on the shift. <laughs> My friend, by the time you go home, you produce 120, 150% of your effort. You don't even want to show up at the hospital again because you're that tired. And every citizen is doing that every day. Secret to their success. I'm not lying. That's why their walls are well painted. That's why their toilets are always clean. That's why everything is functional. You're not going to... If the, the toilet is, clo is broken, it's closed. Janet bringing you secrets. Janet bringing you secrets from America. True, true, 100%. Fact. Not opinions. Remember, Janet rarely talks about opinions. I don't, that's why you see percentages. If you listen to Janet carefully, her words are always according to the studies. Okay, percentages. It's coming from a place of facts. 
I'm using even numerical numbers to tell you I'm quoting sociology. I'm quoting psychology. That's just how I'm blessed. That's how I do things. I don't use my own words. I use what has been proven. Do you understand? And I can sit here and tell you the truth that be prepared if you form the janitor hungry. Most of you will come here and you want to go back home. But most of the time, it's cultural. And there is no babysitter there. I'm telling you, you will have to cook for yourself. They suffer a lot. My friend, they will teach you how to raise your own children here. I'm telling you, I went back home. I could not sit there and someone brings food. I was so guilty. I go to the old kitchen. I wipe, the, clean the house, diapers myself, take to school myself. You raise your level. You just have to raise your level. Okay? And I'm telling you the truth. No one can challenge. The good news with Janet, what she says, is how to challenge. She has worked in Kenyatta. She has worked in Aga Khan. She has worked in Kendu Bay. She has worked in Moi Rifaro Eldoret. Yes, I worked in psychiatry. She has worked in Madare. <laughs> okay, dokie. Okay, you come and challenge her. She has worked in America. Okay? She has worked in New Jersey. She has worked in Delaware. She has worked in California. She has worked in Texas. And so well, how will you challenge? How are you going to challenge that? It's better to learn, right? It's better for us to learn. We are going to break the chains of poverty. We are going to unfreeze the mind that is telling us we can't, we can't. But the truth is, it's effort. Okay? They just do things ten times better than we do. Same nurse here. Perfect example. Gave 30% of her efforts. I should have been giving medicines and going room by room. How are you doing? Can I help you? Have any pain? Okay. If someone has not cleaned the wood, I clean. I make the bed. I make sure they are clean. I take care of them. I call their family. I say, how is your family doing? You're doing okay? Oh, how nice. I move from that room. I go there. I say, how are you doing? Oh, you're doing okay? Good. Ah, oh, you know. I go to the next. I check on them. I make sure they ate well. I check the labs. I ask the, the doctor, you know, how come this one you didn't see today? How much did you know? 150%. So I left the same person, there I gave 20%, came here, gives 150. And you multiply by 100 and 300 million, that's how America is successful. Have you learned something? Fact. People in America will tell you, don't go there, you will know, we'll take care of your child. You know, it's hard work, mindset. And by the way, we still accomplish. You will make it. I woke up at night, cleaned diapers, but still showed up at work. Was it hard? Yes. So is that an excuse that America is bad? No, it's just hard work. Okay, you choose, you have to choose between. <laughs> okay, it's a choice. It's this and this, this and this, this and this. Okay, I love you so much for following. For those who want to, someone says what? Where, where, no hustler, query. Yes, I am a hustler. You hustle through. Okay, and by the way, most of them are here. There's no if, but here you just cannot. It's a high pressure society. You have to produce. If you are at work, Break means break, and I mean on the clock. And sometimes you don't take break. I worked as a nurse many times, and I never took a break. Because if I take a break, I'll be behind. You understand? I invest my energy and everything. Before I even start the shift, I come and take a walk to see. Because they tell me which patients I'm going, I take a walk and make sure no one is handing over someone that passed away or is dead. I have to go and greet the patients before I even get report. Okay? And then when I'm ready to get report, I have to know everything about that patient. Okay, and I'm going to coordinate the care the whole day. My goal is to hand over people that are alive to the next shift. Okay, and no lunch, no what? There is no lunch. I'm busy giving blood. I have no time for lunch. I have no time for madazi. I'm busy giving blood, my friends. I'm busy starting IVs. I'm busy going to the ER. And by the way, if there is no nurse, I'm busy pushing the, the patient to X-ray and bringing them back to CAT scan. Same girl who used to give twenty percent in Aga Khan is giving hundred and fifty percent. So you tell me between those two hospitals who will be more successful? Which hospital will be more cleaner? Which one will be smelling good? Which one will be producing more money? The answer is in your, in your head. All right, so from today, thank you so much for following JanetRangi.com, JanetRangi on YouTube, JanetRangi here on Facebook, okay? Comment section is not just for Janet. Comment section is for all of us, okay? Remember, smartdataanalytic.com, if you want to join the class to change your life, Okay, from 30,000 to 120,000, find a job easily. Okay, invest in yourself, go to classes on weekends. Okay, 14 weeks, instructor led. Okay, get a six figure salary. 
the link will be up here classes start august 15 i can't wait to go and have a testimonial that's what he told me okay so now you are going to start registering and thinking about your future apart from that i can't wait to see you in america i keep on doing videos for you to come to america i keep doing videos for you to come to canada so if it's like god bless you okay all right uh who else i can't see your comment someone says god bless you okay all right yeah job links as you finish everything will, will be up here for those who are following janet for for the first time i always post the link up here okay and i can't wish you i wish you all the best with your family i love you so much janet wants you to succeed okay if one person succeeds on janet rangi we know it's a whole village don't we know that we know that it's a whole village okay rebecca is like god bless you okay thank you so much uh someone says how old are you i've always told people i don't want to talk about my age but janet is 44 years old okay i'm 44 years old i've been in the united states for 20 almost 20. i've been that, good point you know why because people feel like how can she say all these accomplishments she doesn't look like she accomplished all those and she has a kid in college okay and the reason i'm like this can you see with my age it's matching my success i want it to be like that honestly by this never too late janet you never disappoint your motivational okay yes american embassy is fully booked i'm not surprised until next march i'm not surprised this is where the money is this is just where opportunity is but janet rangi followers are the ones that fill that embassy did you know that because they were prepared <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, okay, it's <laughs> true. Okay, okay, I'm just saying it's true because Janet has been preaching when people are sleeping during the pandemic. Janet did not sleep, her followers did not sleep. She came here, and I said, Go book now. So I'm not surprised, and they're having good success because they are well trained to face the embassy. <laughs> okay, I mean, it is what it is. Okay. Janet has spat to blame. But mostly, of course, is the pandemic, okay? Of course, the pandemic delayed everything. So they are short-staffed and everything, okay? But I hope you are one of those people who listen to Janet and everything, okay? Yes. Uh, James, how are you? James Bogo, thank you so much for your comments. Someone, I can't read all of you, okay? Someone that has Form 4 certificate, or that, that course is for people you don't have to have a degree. By the way, just go up here and just go to the link. You'll get it. Okay, you'll get the link. Don't, 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 don't worry about it. Go to the website, read, educate yourself, make a decision. Janet has explained to the points of why you do this, why you do that, and the outcome. Merci beaucoup. Kwaheri. Muchas gracias. Okay, shukran. I love you so much for coming. And going to the comments and helping each other and leave, uh, using your buttons. Okay. Janet, you are wonderful. Thank you. And I love you. Above all, Janet loves you. Okay? You know that. Some of you that get me on the phone call, we laugh. Okay? You call me, Janet, I cross over. I'm from Ghana. Janet, I'm here. Say, we laugh. We laugh on the phone. We say, amen. I told you. Janet, I'm in Canada. Did I? Janet, I'm, I'm saying, oh, amen. We laugh, we laugh. All the time. Me, I love it. Do you love it? I love it. Okay, Doreen, bye. I love you so much. See you in the next video, okay? Good. I enjoy 4th of July. For those of you who are in America and the fireworks. Yes, thank you so much. Bruce is like, happy 4th of July, Janet Rang. Yes, thank you so much. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. My goal is to leave you better than you found me. And Janet sometimes can be tough. Out of love. Okay? Because I believe if you watch Janet and you do what she's saying, you probably can learn one thing or two okay there is no age limit in this country you just apply age age is like telling people i'm not gonna raise chicken because the scavengers will come there's no excuse okay I'm, I'm about to post you can't see the link because the video is still ongoing okay when i stop this video i'll go and grab the link and i'll put it up here god bless you evelyn atieno and so much thank you everyone else for coming see you in the next video okay bye bye see ya